It was a wild scene on the major digging. Dozens of cars and trucks just abandoned right during the height of the storm. Dana Arshin is along the Deegan in the Bronx for us tonight with how people were pressed into action just to help other people safely get out of their flooded cars. Mm -hmm. They must have been so fearful. Steve and Lori, yeah, it was so amazing. And we'll get to that in a little moment. In a moment, we have a woman describe all the community members coming out to help their neighbors. But here where we are now, the expressway was completely flooded just a few hours ago. The water has now been pumped. And I know there is a fence behind me. It might not be easy to see, but I'm going to see if my cameraman, Pete, can zoom on in. You can see at this moment, there are just a few abandoned cars on the shoulder. Both directions, though, of the Major Deegan are still closed off to traffic at this time. Time. We've seen just a few emergency vehicles come and go. So let's start first with this video. Pete got it, my cameraman, just about 3.30 this afternoon. You can see an NYPD truck towing away vehicles. Drivers in other flatbed trucks also came by to tow cars and clear the roads. And then, of course, there are some cars like the ones we just showed you that have been moved over to the shoulder of the expressway. Now, we also have some amazing overhead video from Sky Fox from around 20. 12:30 this afternoon, you can see a huge Amazon truck left abandoned with the entire engine exposed near the exit of West 230th Street. Other shots show cars completely submerged and scattered throughout the expressway, some with doors and trucks left wide open, and some images showing more of those massive tractor trailers, trailer after trailer that had just been stuck and left here on the Major Deegan. Now we spoke to a woman, her name's Julissa Sanchez who lives near Nearby. She came here last night and this morning and said the scene was like out of a movie. Everybody was here gathering. I was like wondering like what's going on. Everybody was like looking and taking pictures and recording. Nobody ever seen nothing like this before. It was swarm. There was people on the other side trying to help them get out. Everybody was like yelling at them, get out, get out. It was it was scary and at the same time it was good because people were trying to help. Yeah, and you heard her say the silver lining here was really seeing community members come together to help their neighbors. The NYPD says so far as of 12:30 this afternoon, so we don't have the most updated numbers yet, but as of 12:30 they had towed 500 vehicles all across the city. They also say if you want to locate your vehicle that has been towed, you should call 311. We're live in the Kingsbridge Heights section of the Bronx. I'm Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News. 500. Incredible. Yeah, it's wild.